<sighs> so, I know you guys occasionally like these tier videos, so I figured today let's give you one that's gonna cause some controversy. Be as a discussion, a little bit of a little fight in the comments. I'm okay with it. Go at it. Just be respectful and polite. And this video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is essentially a haven online for the creative types who want to pick up new skills surprisingly. Doesn't matter if you're looking to change your career or just pick up a new hobby. Skillshare has thousands of online classes for you to pick up and start whatever your next adventure is. The hardest part about picking up a new hobby or getting into a new career path is that initial bit, the get going, the get started. Skillshare solves that problem because they have someone who's an expert in the field giving you a lesson on how to start that specific Thing. I know a lot of you are creative writers who are getting getting their little story told because you message me and I can't respond to all of you. What I can do is say Skillshare has a creative writing 101 class. A lot of you also ask me, how do you read as fast as me? Well, guess what? Boom, read better, faster, triple your speed reading in just seven days. Class on Skillshare. I gave it a bit of a look. It's a good advice. There's some stuff in there that I might start doing. And I just want to mention this one has got a crazy ass title for the course and it's also pretty cool. How to use mind maps to read better and learn faster from books. You think I knew what I was doing when I got started? I didn't. Look at my old videos. They're so bad. But I would have been way better a lot faster if I had signed up for Skillshare, which you can do using the link in the description down below. You get two free months. It's pretty great. It averages out for less than $10 a month to learn through Skillshare. And as they say, you should always be learning. So if you use the link in the description, you'll help support the channel here. You'll get two free months of Skillshare. That's a legitimately valuable product. And so I'm happy to have them sponsor me here on the channel. And I've gone through and chosen and just a little smorgasbord here of fantasy adaptations from books to go ahead and discuss and rank S being the best, D being the worst for a tier list. Do I need to explain any further? No. Let's jump into it. Starting with the original animated Alice in Wonderland. Not the new one. That one's not worth my time. Not even worth a D tier. Just, we're not talking about that monstrosity. But Alice in Wonderland is a classic. Children love it. It has a layers that adults can enjoy. For me, this is an instant classic. This is one that's going to go down in history as one of the best absurdist fantasy movies of all time. Great adaptation of source material. It changes things, of course. They all do. But it's, you know, worth your time, worth a watch. Go see it. The Gesture Cat's one of the, the iconic creatures from my childhood that stands out to give me nightmares. Don't know why it scared me so much. Next up, let's just go ahead and get the biggest controversy out of the way here because I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it. Game of Thrones. I have kind of a weird alternative poster here for it, but this is Game of Thrones. And it starts so high. Like if, if Game of Thrones had maintained its highest tier quality all the way until the end, it would be in debate for S tier, but it completely falls apart towards the end and it's not very good. Is it the worst thing ever? No, it's just that by comparison to how good it once was, people are upset and angry. So for me, it's kind of hard to rank because there's things that are this good and there's things that are this bad. Not this bad, it's not like it's not like the incredible bulk bad, but it's bad. So for me, I'm just gonna average it out to B because um, there's definitely things that go as low as C, D and then there's things that go as high as S, A. So I'm gonna put it in B, which is maybe a bit of a cowardice answer. I'm sorry, maybe I should take a bolder stance, but it's just where I'm going to put it for now. Now, moving on, we have the Golden Compass, which is not the current TV show, His Dark Materials. This is the movie with Daniel Craig that came out in, I believe, 2008, 7, 9 ish. And this one was bad, uh, much worse than the current show. I don't think it's the worst thing ever. I'm going to put it in C, which is below average. It's not good, but they, they had some nicer elements to it i guess oh, it's such a betrayal of the source material and the, you know what no 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 no. i'm putting this d because of what they did to the ending and for those of you who are his dark materials fans you'll probably back me up on this that kind of back down that kind of pulling away from the source material unacceptable now we have one that's like special from my childhood and this is the dungeons and dragons movie i am well aware a bad campy movie uh, not bad it, it can't be movie there's villains that are just cheesing it up as the actors which is so much fun the effects are not great but it's fun like it's a lot of fun i enjoy the dungeons and dragons movie for its camp for its ridiculousness and i don't think there's a whole lot to hate i mean it's 
eh, it's, ah, oh, nostalgic. I gotta remove the nostalgic glasses. All right, I'm gonna put it in C, but just know that in my heart, this is a B. This is a B in my heart. Um, but I, it also feels weird and wrong to put that next to Game of Freaking Thrones. Now we have The NeverEnding Story, a amazing movie in my mind. I love it. I'm going to put it in A. Hey, we actually filled out each one. I didn't mean to do that, but we did that. But for me, NeverEnding Story is A. I don't get the people who think it's like as good as the greatest fantasy adaptations of all time. I think it has some pretty big flaws, but it's still A. I still am going to show my whatever nephews it one day or something, and that'll be a... Uh, That'll be one for the ages. Now we have The Sword and the Stone, a cute little kid's cartoon about Arthurian legends. Um, again, I need to work on removing my nostalgia glasses here, trying to get them off my face. They're one to stick on. I'm gonna put it in B. It feels really weird to put that next to Game of Thrones, but I, if I remember correctly, there's just, it's a nice campy cartoon. There's nothing really flawless or incredible about it. Uh, I need to, I wish I'd rewatch that before doing this, but I, I'm going to rank this a floater. It's a flo <laughs> it's a floater that I'm just going to leave in the beats here for now because I'm not entirely sure where that goes. Chronicles of Narnia. I don't like the source material. I don't like these movies and I'm going to go ahead and put them in D tier. Sorry, Narnia fans. Well, no, a lot of you people dislike these movies too. So can we just, can we just all put this in D and then walk away? I mean, I know if I was a Narnia fan putting it in D, it'd be different because you're like, yeah, you dislike these movies like I do. But since I'm not a Narnia fan, it's like someone who's not in your team dissing your thing. I don't know, but I'm putting it there. I hope that's okay with you. It's where I think it belongs. Aragon. Oh, my beautiful, sweet summer child. Um, Sweet baby little angel. I, uh, man. Okay. Uh, it's not good. I'm, I'm going to put this in D as well. It That's not the source material's fault. Aragon could be a good kids fantasy movie one day. It's obviously, this is this is not very good. Man, the D is getting heavy here. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> But for me, I just can't give it much credit because uh, it's not the best. Uh, I hope to see it done again someday properly. Maybe that'd be fun, the inheritance cycle, but... I can't give those movies credit at all. Next up, we have the Harry Potter movies. Um, I don't think many people are going to argue with me that this is a very good adaptation. You can dislike Harry Potter. There are certainly problems with it. But overall, this is a good adaptation. I'm giving Harry Potter S tier because it's pretty much the definitive adaptation. No one's asking for it to be done again. The fans are happy. People who weren't fans of the books are happy. Wins for me. Next up, we have one that no one remembers, but I do because when I was young and there was, and I stuck in my head because of that. And that is the Beowulf movie. Oh, it's not good. Definitely not up there. It is a CGI weird show where they decided to not do live action instead of motion capture before motion capture was ready for being motion capture. I think they were inspired by like Smeagol and Lord of the Rings. They're like, what if we just did everyone like that? But worse. And it has this horrific uncanny valley just throughout the entire process also the movie itself is just not great i'm putting in c because there's some ambition there there's some like interesting aspects the action's not horrific and there's some good horror elements that certainly scared the crap out of me when i was a child yeah but overall that's gonna be a C for me? Ah, oh, maybe, maybe that should be D as well. There's a lot of bad fantasy adaptations. Moving on, we have oh, my The Hobbit. Speaking of wasted potential, man, um, for me, you, when you offend Tolkien, when you do a bad job of adapting Tolkien, you've gone, you've done something it's sacrilegious for the fantasy world and I don't want to get in like the bandwagon putting it in D tier because that's really really bad I'm gonna put this in C because there are neat moments and it is still nice to return to Middle Earth I'm giving it that but the CGI is not as good as some of the original CGI in the actual original Lord of the Rings movies. The divergence from source material is unacceptable. The elongating of it to three whole movies from a kid's book that does not have that much content was just bad. Um, yeah, I'm putting that C and 
maybe it deserves lower, but okay. Moving on. Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, that's going to go D for me. The creator of Percy Jackson himself has come out and distanced himself from these movies. He does not like them. I don't like them. I read, I think, one or a few. I read a couple of the Percy Jackson books, I think a long time ago in like middle school, and they were huge. Um, I remember watching the movie when I was young, and even at that age, I was like, this is weird. I don't like it. Um, I've gone back and seen it since then, and it's it's not it's not good. It's just it's flat out. Flat out not good. The Princess Bride is going to go S tier. In terms of fantasy adaptations before, fantasy adaptations were what they are now. This was the absolute top of the bar. The Princess Bride is funny. It has some campy effects, but hey, it kind of just works with the tone they're going for. Has Andre the Giant. That's an instant win. And Princess Buttercup and the Dread Pirate. Just, ah, oh, everything about it is great. Uh, the left hand right scene hand scene is like something when I was fencing when I was a younger kid was something I like always wanted to do of course I never did because I was never that good at sword fighting or fencing but it stuck in my head every match I had uh, it's basically a perfect movie like when they, they the rumor went around recently that they might be trying to remake it and everyone simultaneously said F no I think we were all in agreement we were all like, yeah this is not something that we should do this is bad and that's that should let you know how good it is when the entire world can unify and say no don't remake this masterpiece you got a nest here the recent or current witcher show so going off the first season I <sighs> this is weird I'm in the middle I liked it Every one of my comment sections is either screaming that it's the worst thing ever or it's the best thing ever. It's either a two or like a nine to these people. And I'm sitting here at a solid 6.5. Like, this is why I think, I think you guys both have good points. That was good and that was bad. Ah, um, so I'm just going to put this in B and uh, I'll be reading the comment sections to be like, hey, uh, what do you all think? <laughs> because uh, I, I thought it was good. I thought it was fine. Um, and nothing really above that. I'm really excited for future seasons. Stop, not, not now. I always forget to turn off my volume. I'm really excited for future seasons because I think it has a lot of potential to get better. Moving on to the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the original one. Man, this, this S tier is weighted heavily, but yeah, it's freaking Lord of the Rings movies. It changed cinema. It's the most Oscar-winning set series of movies ever. Ever. It redefined what visual effects could be. It basically proved that, yes, a grand epic fantasy story can be adapted true to the books. There are some changes, but they're understandable. I mean, there's a reason people will sit through like the 16 hour director's cut because it's it's just every moment's every moment's beautiful. Every moment's great. Uh, truly epic cinema and definitely an S tier. The current His Dark Materials show. I, I gave it like a 7 out of 10, and I stand by that. Um, there were some really great things. Lynn Mo Miranda's acting is the worst. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, and I think the visual effects were impressive. The bear especially looked good. I really like the sound design for the bear. Uh, I, I, mm. How do you go from casting Sam Elliott for that role, who was dead spot on, awesome, just bring him back for Christ's sake, to... Lynn manuel Miranda. Okay, if you have those two actors cast for the same role, one of them's wrong. And guess which one's wrong for this role? Uh, gosh. Um, so for me, I'm feeling... Uh, okay, I, I, it's not just that. There were other mistakes in the show as well, but there was also phenomenal acting for Mrs. Coulter especially. <sighs> I want to... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to go B here. I'm going to go B as well. Uh, but I, I hope it gets I hope it gets better with the continuing seasons. They didn't back down from the ending from the books, which brownie points from me. But it's it's not it's not an A. Now with the final one we're gonna go over with here today, we have The Wizard of Oz, one of the most iconic films of all time, beloved by millions. It again was something that like changed cinema with like how people saw color in the movie and all these things. And it's like, oh my God, the ruby red slippers are so pretty because we're people in the 19 blah, 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 and color impresses us on TV. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, I might have a controversial pick here, but knowing all the horrific behind the scenes stuff for this movie and how dark the making of this film was. I want to put it in S, like if I'm going from like a yes, it's like a beautiful, incredible film that did all this stuff, but like, I don't enjoy watching it anymore because it's like, oh God, that was dark. 
this is more of an A. Like, I respect it, but if people are like, let's come on, sit down, watch Wizard of Oz, I'm gonna be like, no. This is the fantasy adaptation for a bunch of random fantasy movies and shows I picked to rank ranking. Let me know your ranking in the comments down below. I know I left out a bunch here that people probably want to see, but these are the ones I've seen and had thoughts about and care about enough to put on right now. Um, there's a bunch I haven't seen because I haven't watched a lot of the bad ones because people told me they're bad. I don't want to watch the Genre Chronicles. That seems really bad. I don't want to watch the Dresden Files. TV show because I heard it's really bad. Um, but you let me know how bad they are in the comments down below. All the ones I missed here, you fill out right down there and put your little S A B C D ranking. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here and have a good one, y'all. Peace.